Welcome everybody to the Avalanche Alliance sweepstakes. We appreciate you joining us tonight. Settle in, get ready, and we're going to be announcing some winners before this thing is all over. So come on in live viewers while you're waiting. Go ahead and share this out. So it's on uh, Snow West Magazine's Facebook page right now. Uh, feel free to go into there, smash the share button. Let's get this out there. Share it on your personal pages, share it on your local club pages, anywhere you think that people are going to be able to see this. Uh, we want to make sure that they get out there. So uh, we're going to give it just another minute, let the audience build, and we are literally live in the middle of pulling names randomly from the Avalanche Alliance sweepstakes. And at the end of this broadcast, we're going to share those numbers with you. All right, everybody, we're down to 30 seconds to go. Again, come on in, settle in, grab your favorite beverage, grab some popcorn, and we're going to get you guys a show tonight. We have some special, special people here joining you tonight, and we're going to have them talking to you here in about 15 seconds. All right, everybody with me. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. We have Vicky from Airy. We have Dan from Climb. Not Dan. Dustin from Climb. Dan from Next Level <laughs> Riding Clinic. So I almost got that right, guys. Man, I am so excited to be here tonight, everybody. I'm so glad we have a, a live audience here. We've got 56 live viewers now, and I know that's going to continue to grow as we go. So please share this out. So uh, let's do some real quick introductions. So Dustin, give us a quick introduction. Let us know where you're broadcasting live from and what's out over your shoulder. Yeah, I'm broadcasting live from the Climb headquarters in Rigby, Idaho. And behind me, oh, on this side, is uh, our part of our grand prize for the sweepstakes this year, 2022 Lynx Boondocker 3900 with a whole bunch of aftermarket goodies. We'll talk about that here just in a minute, but uh, somebody's going to win it here real soon. That's awesome. And as the guests are watching right now, please drop it in the comments and let us know where you're watching live from. We would love to see names in this comment section and know where you're watching from. So do this that favor while we're doing this too. So Dan Adams, Next Level Riding Clinics. Dan, so excited to have you here with us tonight. So give us a little quick rundown. Let us know where you're broadcasting live from. It's probably pretty obvious, but give us a shout out. Yeah, certainly, John. And thanks for having me back. You and I have done this before. And I've been living large ever since. This has been awesome. So, Love guys, it. I am uh, right here in the next level shop. Uh, crazy day, just building snowmobiles, waiting on the snow to fly. So excited to look all over social media and see so many people out, out there getting a, a fresh helping of snow because it has been sort of a lazy start. But anyway, super excited to be here. And I, I can't tell you enough about the Avalanche Alliance and how busy we have been on this tour since basically heydays. Uh, lots of stuff to talk about. Um, but anyway, just glad to be here, John. Thanks. Thanks so much, Dan. Appreciate you being here. Vicky, give us a little shout out. Let us know where you're broadcasting from. What state are you in? You're you're in a different state than everybody else, I believe, right? <laughs> yep. I'm uh, <laughs> here in Vail, Colorado. Snowy Vail, Colorado. Finally, we got about 12 inches this weekend. So that's been amazing. Um, yeah, I'm super happy to be here. It's really exciting. Um, bringing the gang all back together again. Yeah, this is awesome. You guys remember Vicky. She's the uh, director of the American, help me out, Vicky, American Institute for Avalanche Sorry, Research and Education. <laughs> That's okay. I think I just did it you for you. Executive so, director. Yep, the executive Perfect. director. You got it right. Awesome, awesome. And so you guys remember, we were here exactly maybe a week after, like a year and a week after giving away our grand prize last year. Last year, we gave Dan's favorite snowmobile, Polaris, right, Dan? That was your favorite snowmobile last year we gave away. This year, we have a Lynx Boondocker we're giving away. And a year ago, a year, yep, I get it. It's That's the best part about this Avalanche Alliance is that uh, we are literally one big happy family. Everybody's here supporting each other, which was what makes it amazing. But Vicky, let's flash back to a year ago. The sweepstakes, we raised, I believe it was a little over $167,000, netted out all the expenses of the sweepstakes, because of course, some of these prizes have to have some, some expenses to it. And over the last two seasons, last season and this season, give us some stats. How much money have we put back into the motorized community through Avalanche scholarships, Avalanche education scholarships into the motorized community? 
Yeah, so if you all remember, all of the money that was raised last year was earmarked for motorized scholarships with ARI. Um, every level of course that we offer. So rec, professional, and instructor. Um, so last year we gave away 29 scholarships, uh, just under $20,000. Um, and this year it's really blown my socks off. I think the word is getting out and people know that they have a place to come and uh, basically get free education. Um, so this year we've actually given out 41 scholarships. Uh, totaling $41,195. And we still have, um, we're going to do another uh, round of scholarships to give out on the rec side in January. So if you haven't applied yet, head over to avtraining.org and find that scholarships page and apply. We'll do another round of funding in January for rec programming. Um, and then even better is that we still have about $50,000 in the bank to give out next year for scholarships. Yeah. So this has been an incre incredible opportunity to um, lean into this community for that fundraiser and then put it straight back yeah. um, into the hands of the community. That's amazing. There's so many like, you know, people who are in the industry who are benefiting from this program and net net, all of us benefit from this program because as we get people in, you know, the whole point of this program is if you're a, a rec user that can help kind of like inspire and coach and, and share the avalanche education mission that we all have with your peers, you can get in on a, one of those recreational scholarships just by being kind of the seed in the community. And also any pro level person, if you're signed up for a pro level and you register and you're accepted into a pro level ARI course, you're automatically uh, associated with a scholarship, right? If those paid at about 50%. And we have those people, a lot of them in Togedy right now, Vicki, aren't there a bunch of them? We have 10 people on a Motorized Pro 1 in Togedy, and they all received scholarships. Yeah, no, that's amazing. So let's fast forward to this year. So Dustin, I'm going to come over to you a little bit and talk about you and Dan have been out there over the last, uh, you know, what has it been, a month or two, you guys have been doing these uh, avalanche awareness trainings out in the uh, community. Let's talk about that first, and then we'll dive into what the money for this year's sweepstakes is going to go to. But, uh, you know, Dan, why don't you take us through, you know, this last couple of months of like, you know, what got you so inspired to get involved in avalanche education and training? I know you had some personal experiences that you shared with me previously on my show, previously on my show but like, let, give people a little taste of what that's about and then what you've been doing over the last you know, couple months here in these trainings. Yeah, certainly, John. The, the, the Avalanche Alliance, actually our first presentation was heyday, so second week of September. And so we've been on the road and we've had a few, you know, we've had a couple weeks off, but I mean, basically since September all the way up through, we just finished this first week of December. So we've been on the road all through the Midwest. We've been Utah. We've been up into Idaho. We've been kind of all over the place, Montana, Minnesota. Um, it's been really cool. Um, again, like I had shared with you when the last time I was on, on with you, a lot of personal experience goes into this. And so, you know, being able to be a part of Climb, be a part of the Avalanche Alliance, share my experiences of why, you know, it kind of took an event. It took something that happened to me that was, well, a near death from a, a really good friend that's a guide here at Next Level, Jason Blair. We almost lost him. And that almost losing him was sort of the the catalyst, right? That was sort of the, 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 the wake up, Dan, that, you know, you're not invincible. Mother Nature doesn't play favorites, all of those things. There's, we're, we're, there is no exception out there. And so that was the event that got me to go in and really start to dive into avalanche training and awareness and i went a step further right and i built a business all around it to where my training took me into the business side of things to where i now want to just network as much of this safety and this training out to as many people as i can so the avalanche alliance to me was just another perfect way for me to get out there continue to network that out there we stress to everybody from the very beginning of this that what we were doing, going to these dealerships, going to these snow shows, this was a lot less of a training and way more of an awareness. So we were we were out there essentially telling everybody and influencing people the importance of on snow training. There is no substitute that's out there where you can go take a dealership training and then call that, you know, that's your avalanche train. There are components to any avalanche course that require you to be indoors and you're actually looking up whether it's a PowerPoint or a video and then just learning from some of that stuff. But once you get through that, the on snow training, going out, 
learning about stability, digging pits, understanding terrain, uh, gaining those avalanche eyeballs, things like that. That's all stuff that happens on snow. And so as we went to each one of these presentations, it was really important that we put that primary focus on the fact that we were there as, as an influence and we were just spreading that awareness to go get that on snow training. That's awesome. Thanks so much, Dan. And you, uh, you had somebody out there with you. Who was your uh, partner in crime out there on the road with you? Yeah, so, so Matt Entz, uh, fellow team rider, both Klein, both Polaris, we actually share a ton of different sponsors together. Matt and I uh, and our stories together, they, they meshed really, really well with each other. Matt is just a phenomenal snowmobiler. He is a phenomenal spokesperson for not only snowmobiling, but on the Abbey side of it. You know, Matt has, uh, you know, he has went out and he has got a ton of training and the courses that he's able to do through Mountain Skills I have looked up to Matt and what he has been able to do. And we have learned a ton from one another, uh, both last year through those presentations and now again this season. And hopefully Matt and I get a chance to, you know, share in some trainings together as well as do some more riding. So pretty awesome to have Matt. And then obviously Dustin Pancary along with this. Dustin was, uh, I mean, he, his role in what we did there uh, is absolutely amazing. You know, he, he, he put up with me and my, complicated coffee order he put up with we put up with matt and i both no matter where we stayed we had to have we had to have a gym at the hotel uh because it's the preseason and and that's a big focus to me going into this season and i hope it is to all of you out there listening that while we're waiting on snow there is no better time to just continue to work out continue to just get our bodies ready while we're waiting on snow we're waiting on sleds everything else our bodies are that one thing that once we're out there and this is this plays truth to even the the abbey side of things how many times we have gone through these like simulated you know backpack burials as we'll call them and i have people that are kind of running up a hill or down a hill using their transceivers and they're so out of breath that they can't even speak they can't even do anything remember that fitness no matter what we're doing out there plays a huge role so Absolutely. between the three of us we had a yeah between the three of us we had a fantastic time um i feel like if there was I don't know if there's any other persons, uh, people that I would rather travel with and spend that much time together. The three of us got along really well, so it was awesome. That's great. That's great. So, Dustin, why don't you give us a quick rundown on the money that we've raised for the sweepstakes this year uh, and where it's going? So, Vicky, do we have a total number? I can't. Maybe you said it earlier, and I just phased it out as I was listening to these guys talk. But what is this year's number? What did it close out at this year for the sweepstakes? Well, we had 5,947 individuals wow. uh, enter the, the sweepstakes, and we raised a total of $171,675. Nice. That's amazing. So we beat last year, and uh, we've got now some money to go in, uh, in support all of the avalanche centers across the United States. So we had the opportunity to you know, provide grants back to us. So uh, Dustin, why don't you talk us a little bit about What's going on with the Avalanche Centers? I know you've been reviewing some of the grants that are out there and some different types of projects that are out there. Why don't you talk us through that, Dustin? Yeah, so really we were, you know, debating in the beginning of the year, you know, back prior to Hades when we first started our Avalanche Tour, where we felt like the next best, uh, who the next best beneficiaries of some of these funds could be. And we, we kind of take a look at the backcountry as a whole, you know, the motorized group as a whole. We thought, all right, where are there deficiencies or where are there things that um, all of us joining together as a motorized group can help one another. And we decided that these avalanche forecast centers, um, they benefit all of us, right? I mean, all of us are riding in an area where we hope we have access to a timely, accurate forecast. That's what yep. we're going to rely on to be safe. And where we're out talking about receiving some type of a training and encouraging people to do that, part of that training is relying on those forecast centers. So it became pretty evident to us that um, there was a, a lot of opportunity to help fund projects for these guys. And as we started talking to them, we realized there was more opportunity than we even realized um, or than we originally thought. So we, we sent out an invite to all of the Avalanche Centers to send us grant proposals. Um, and we would go through and review all those grant proposals and see which ones we felt like were the greatest need for the motorized community, right? So I, I believe we got 14 uh yep. grant proposals back if i re remember right yeah um, and they're all really okay. good it's going to be it's going to be a tough decision really to sit to decide which ones 
Um, cause, cause they're just all, I mean, very well put together. The avalanche centers did a really good job writing, you know, the grant proposals. So, yeah. um, I think there's, there's one in there, for example, our backyard Island park doesn't even have an avalanche forecast right now. Um, and that's one of the, probably the, the largest destination areas in the snowmobile industry. We have people coming from all over the country to ride in West Yellowstone and Island park. So we know there's a big need there. We've had some avalanche deaths there and we want to, we want to try to impact that in effect. It. Yeah. Um, so there was another one, you know, I thought I just noticed from Flathead, um, they've got a big 50 mile area where they have no weather station. Yep. And that's that's a big area. Right. So there's definitely needs. I could go on and go on and, you know, talk about all of the needs of the each each one's submitted grant proposals. But um, I think it's something that at, at the end of the day is going to benefit every one of us. Um, we all drive around and ride different areas. I'll, I'll ride in Utah, I'll ride in Montana. I get to go to Colorado, you know, Idaho. And so there's different forecasts that I want to take advantage of. And I want them to be as funded as they possibly can. Yep. Okay. That's awesome. So Dan, I know you had joined us just to help share some of the information you shared there. We're going to start diving into what some of these amazing prizes are, and we're going to start giving some stuff away. And I know you've got a busy evening ahead of you. So I uh, want to say thank you so much for joining us tonight. Is there any other final things you want to share with everybody before you, uh, you sign off? No, I mean, once again, guys, uh, everybody that's listening, I just, I hope you guys know like how important this stuff is to me. I have, uh, a lot of personal experience with avalanches, uh, John, for the show, hearing about that we've we've lost someone even today, and I, I'm just I'm just so thrown by some of this stuff. And I get it that accidents happen, but I go I just before I go, I just want everybody to understand like this message and how clear it is, and that's that we all, I mean, every single one of us that ride in the backcountry, we have to. I mean, we have to go and get this training. So remember, let's. Let's get the picture, right? Get the plan, get the gear, and get the training. And that's uh, that's some very simple disciplines that we should all think that none of us are above. Let's just continue to push this out there, guys. And I appreciate every one of you guys that have been out there donating. And best of luck to, to all these guys. And hopefully somebody's going to win some pretty amazing prizes. Yeah. Got some awesome things going on. So thanks so much, Dan. I know uh, on your end, I think you can click out and drop off. Uh, let us know if uh, you have any challenges there. And Dustin, as a reminder, once he drops off, we're going to shuffle. We'll have you recenter yourself a little bit as we get going. So thanks so much, Dan. Okay, I'll go All right, see you guys. Yep. All right. So just the three of us now. So uh, Vicky, I know we've been trying to... Uh, you know, message back and forth because here's the guys what's going on. Full disclosure, Vicky has full access to the uh, the sweepstakes website, which is able to go through and randomize the things. And so, Vicky, I think we're, we're we'll be okay with having you just help us read off the names as we go through it. So, Dustin's going to go hey, through and and we'll uh, you know we'll have Dustin start walking through some of these prizes. I'll jump in, add some commentary along the way. But uh, Dustin, I know you've got a list of all these amazing prizes that are we have in front of us and some of our amazing sponsors. Maybe I cover the sponsors, you cover the prizes, and we'll just kind of bounce back and forth there. So, Yeah, so we'll break it into two categories like that. We have a lot of sponsors that helped out with these projects, whether they provided parts for the giveaway snowmobile or whether um, they've, they've kicked in for the project somehow, right? And so... And then there's also just the individual people that uh, helped us out with prizes, right? So um, I think the grand prize, we'll start off there, is a 2022 Lynx Boondocker 3900. So for those of us that talk in inches, that's 154. <laughs> um, and with a 2.5 track. And it was really neat to be involved in obtaining this machine. And, and I think for me, you know, working for Climb and I've, I've, I've got relationships with all other brands in the industry and I know a lot of the OEM guys and it's, it's neat to see this come together as a true industry initiative, right? Because here we have BRP with bringing links into the United States or the North America for the first time ever. That's a big deal. That's a really cool thing to add another brand. And then having them jump on board with this, with this initiative. And as most people know, Climb, our parent company is Polaris, and that's a competition with BRP, but we are all working together to create the funds to help elevate the entire industry, right? That we're all going to benefit from this. And so it's kind of fun to see all these companies come together again, you know, Fly, they've kicked in big time. Again, you know, Climb is a, comp we're competitors with Fly, but we're also good friends with them. We know them. they're four hours away. They're not too far away and they're good people. And it's fun again, to bring brands together to help, hopefully save some lives and Ordovox, same thing. We compete with Ordovox, but they've kicked in. So 
Um, I just really wanted to make sure everybody understands this is a this is a this is a big deal to have a whole bunch of competing companies come together, help elevate everybody at the same time, kind of a positive, a really positive situation. You don't see that in the world very often anymore. So it's it's yeah. neat to be a part of that. But uh, anyways, yeah, this, back to the grand prize. Well, um, I just want to say out loud quick too. I mean, Dustin, before you go too much further, is like. If this is something that's fairly unique to the snowmobile industry. And I don't know that everybody in the snowmobile industry who participates understands how unique that is. I mean, you think of like, you know, dirt biking, side-by-sides, boating, jet skiing, like all these different automotive. sports that are out there. Yeah. Automotive, like, you know, competing companies don't typically come together for things that are serving the community like this. And so I just, I'm so proud to be part of this industry and this community. And uh, really, you know, and I want to do a special shout out personally from me saying, you know, this brainchild of Avalanche Alliance came from Climb, right? Dustin, you, John Summers, everybody over at Climb, this is something that, you know, you guys, it was the seed of an idea. And then as you guys saw what I was doing, what Vicky was doing, like you started pulling people in and we have this amazing team now of people who are involved and it keeps getting bigger every season. And so I'm grateful for, you know, the climb stepping up to make such a difference in this industry. Um, Grateful for that. So, all right, Dustin, back to the prize list. Well, and I think to take that one step further sure, too, sure. you know, we want it to continue to grow that way. We we want to invite other brands next year to grow this into a bigger initiative, get the prizes bigger, raise more money, bring more people yep. in, have more mouths spreading the word to their clientele, um, so that we can encourage more people to get training and hopefully save those lives. So we're, yep. you know, that's kind of an open welcome for anybody that wants to participate next year. But uh, yeah, so back to the grand prize. The the links that's behind me here. I keep doing this backwards because the screen's flipped. That's okay. Excellent. Um, you know, somebody's going to win it tonight. And along with that, part of the grand prize is a full fly racing outerwear outfit, head to toe, helmet, goggles, gloves, jacket, pant, boot. So that's awesome. Somebody's going to be really excited about that. And then in addition to that, Ortovox has kicked in a backcountry safety package. So that's a transceiver, a probe, a shovel in an avalanche backpack. So if you start adding up the retail dollars and all that stuff, if somebody had to go just buy that, yep. um, you're over 30,000. Yeah. Uh, and that's a that's a pretty neat prize package. That's a complete deal, ready to go riding. Um, and so uh, I wish I was eligible, but I'm not. <laughs> um, but, so, but somebody's gonna get to take it home here real soon. That's awesome. That's awesome. And so then the next prize package we have, the the first prize, if you will, is a sled makeover. And what that basically means is that, you know, anybody who's out there that's a rider, your existing snowmobile, if there's available aftermarket parts from these amazing companies, uh, I'm going to go through them quick and then I'll kick it back over to you again, uh, you know, Dustin. But, uh, you know, we've got Zebros Racing. So all those amazing things that Zebros Zebros Racing makes, we have a package there, starting line products, SLP, Ice Age products, seat concepts, and an SCS wrap. So if all of those companies have accessories for your sled maker, and model that you have, we're going to get you guys set up with a pretty amazing package. So you might already be rocking a Polaris or you might even have a Lynx. So they've started making things for Lynx, of of course, because our grand prize sled is decked out with all those things. And then we get into, you know, Skidoo, Articat, you know, whatever is out there that uh, these companies have products for, we're going to hook you up in a big way and and get that in. So anything you want to add there? Anything I missed? Yeah. So the coolest part about that prize, I thought was, you know, I, I get on the phone and I start trying to get companies to kick in for this prize. And, and the hard part about it is they don't necessarily know what the financial commitment is going to be because yeah, maybe somebody has got a Polaris and SLP makes a whole bunch more stuff for it. Or maybe, you know, maybe somebody has got a Skidoo and another brand makes a whole bunch more stuff for that. And every one of those companies that agreed to kick in, they basically just said, we will donate whatever we make for that snowmobile. So it could be a lot of money. They don't even know what they're committing to. And they didn't (laughs) hesitate. They didn't even ask. It was like, we're on. That's awesome. No questions asked. So that's, that's a pretty big deal for these companies to just commit and not even really know what they're committing to, so to speak. And so that's a pretty unique prize in that respect. Um, And then I guess we can move on uh, to second prize. Uh, Second prize is a Marlin sled deck. Yep. 
Uh, that's pretty cool. That's a, I think a, about a $6,000 retail value, isn't it? If you can I think it is. You know more about that than I do, John. Yeah, absolutely. And actually I've, I'm rocking a brand new 2020 Marlon sled deck myself and it's amazing. So it's, you know, all aluminum construction, um, you know, amazing ramp with really wide 13 inch glides on it. It's comes with a traditional 10 inch ramp. Um, I think we're planning on giving away an eight footer. Um, if we have access to a seven footer, we might be able to work that out with whoever the winner is. But, uh, the intent I think is for a a regular eight footer, but, uh, amazing, amazing, you know, sled deck that's out there. And there's a lot of great sled decks out there, but this is the second year that Marlon has stepped up and supported us with a sled deck in the the sweepstakes. So, and we we appreciate their involvement and their continued commitment to the cause. That's, that's a pretty big deal. So yeah. Tell us about that Uh, timber sled. Yeah. Tell us about the timber sled next. Next prize. Again, I sent an email off to timber sled marketing department and it was just like right away. Yep. We're in, just tell us what you want. Um, so big thanks to those guys as, as all the rest of the sponsors. Um, this is a Riot S and that's a, that's a very universal kit. Just about anybody's going to enjoy that kit. I've had the opportunity to ride about every timber sled kit, actually every snow bike out there. And this particular kit is a great choice because it's going to work for really just about anybody, especially I have some people that might be a little bit height challenged uh and they uh they appreciate that lower height so again thanks to timber sled for kicking in on that that's amazing amazing and then of course the the fourth prize climb so give us the rundown and all the cool climb gear that someone's going to walk away with yep yeah so again it's a head to toe kind of similar to what flies doing on the grand prize a uh, helmet goggle boots gloves you know uh i think i would probably let them choose between a one piece or a jacket and pat whatever we can take care of them with but uh yeah we want to we want to outfit them head to toe throw an abby pack in there as well and make sure they're set up yep that's awesome so dustin i'm gonna have you shuffle over a little bit towards the front of the slide you're slightly getting cut off there you go that's perfect right there it's a it's a nice narrow point of view here different than we had before so thanks for for accommodating um so what do you think you want to should i go through the list of sponsors that have been here for this year i've got them all right in front of me you cool with that if i take that yep let's do that and then as we get to the grand prize i'll go ahead and, and list off all of the participants in the sled as well, because we didn't, we haven't gone over the people that provided for that. But yeah, oh yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So uh, just the overarching sponsors for this, a lot of them are the prize participants, but then we have some others as well. And so we, we'd be remiss if we didn't give a big giant shout out to snow West magazine, right? We're literally sitting here broadcasting yeah. on their Facebook page. So uh, Mr. Ryan Harris and everybody at snow West magazine, we are so grateful for this opportunity that, you know, to have, you know, over a hundred streaming live guests here with us now that are kind of coming and going and people watching this we're gonna end up with thousands and thousands of views again as we always do because of the amazing uh base of people in the snowmobile industry that follow uh, snow west magazine so give snow west magazine a big shout out uh, but of course we have link snowmobiles the grand prize fly racing ordovox marlon recreational products timber sled climb zebros seat concepts uh, we didn't talk about them earlier in the other prize. I think we missed them, but uh, seat concept, I actually rock seat concept seats myself and they're an amazing product as well. Like everything else on here, um, SCS wrap. So the beautiful wrap we have, sometimes that goes unnoticed the brand of the company there, but SCS, SCS wraps last year and this year has set us up with an amazing wrap that uh, pulls all these logos in. And what else do we have here? We have starting line products, ice age performance, and we can't forget iron dog team 11 getting ready to race the big iron dog race coming up in February. They've been supporting supporting us this year again, last year as well. Uh, we talked about Snow West Magazine and Aerie. So Vicky here from Aerie. So Aerie's been a big part of this. They've actually helped us as, the, as our nonprofit partner in all of this to be able to execute with the website. You know, TapCat is the website that we use and uh, to be able to leverage and work with all of these amazing partners. So thank you, Aerie, for that. And of course, yours truly right here, uh, Live Large Universe is uh, what I call my podcast, my show over on YouTube. So uh, we talk about snowmobile education, safety. We get a lot of stuff around avalanche safety. I've kind of gotten to be known as the safety guy in the industry, partnering and working with things. I'm not an educator myself, but I'm a giant promoter of all of these things that we're doing. Hence the reason I've gotten pulled into this. And so a lot of great people there, and there's more even there than that, you know, have helped us in the background over the years as well too. But, uh, you know, Dustin, go ahead and talk a little bit about uh, all the cool things that were added to the grand prize. I think is that what you're going to hit next, right? Um, I don't know. Let's actually start out. Let's start giving prizes away. And then we get to the grand prize. We'll go over okay. everything um, that's involved in that again. Okay. Sounds good. So Vicky, keep us honest here. I know we've got a bunch of them there too, but I think, you know, I, I, Dustin, what's your thoughts? Do you want to have us try to read those, the text messages we've gotten from Vicky? 
You want to you want to try to do yeah. that? And Vicky, are yeah, we? I've got it in order now. Okay, so are we starting with number five and working our way to the top, right? That's right. Yep. Okay, and just to be clear, all of these prizes were all at the click of a button. All the prizes were randomized, and everybody had a shot at everything all along the way. And we now just have the final list that we have that was randomized by TapCat. So, Vicky, anything you want to share about the TapCat website and, and how that works, or, does, or did I cover it? You think? You covered it. Perfect, perfect. And so, Dustin, if you have the list, I'm actually going to let you go through these lists. I want to make sure I'd rather than bouncing back and forth and taking a chance of messing it up, I'd rather have you just cover it. And Vicky, okay. you have the original list. So if for some reason we mess something up, please stop us in the moment and correct us. But I think we've got it down. Got so it. Dustin, let's hear it. Like who's, who's our number five winner, which is in theory, the climb giveaway, right? Yeah, the climb giveaway. So prize number four, uh, which is the climb giveaway head to toe outfit, uh, hailing from Morrison, Colorado, Nil Widener. Uh, last name spelled W I D E N E R, Nil Widener. So, Nil, congratulations, congratulations man. That's awesome. I can't Woo. wait to chat with you and get you, get you outfitted. So, thanks for donating to the Avalanche Alliance and, and helping out the motorized community with Avalanche safety. Yeah, that's awesome. And I know, Vicki, we have, as people have applied for these uh, the, the tickets and everything, they've provided us their contact information. And so we'll be reaching out to them probably through email, most likely, possibly through phone if they provided a phone number. So, Yep, I'll be contacting everybody first thing Monday morning. And there's a couple forms people have to fill out, and then we'll make sure to get the prizes straight to you. Very cool. And so Vicky will be coordinating with all of the prize, uh, you know, sponsors as well as like Climb, just to make sure that the right person, the right information all gets connected. So that's awesome. So Dustin, who's our, uh, who's our winner of the, is that, I think it's the Timber Sled was the next timber item, sled, right? Timber Sled, yeah. Yep. So, so prize number three on the list, our Timber Sled Riot S, uh, going to someone right actually close to the Fly headquarters in Boise, Idaho. Nice. Brian Wolstenhume. Brian Wilson here. Brian, congratulations. You just got yourself a timber sled. Uh, so exciting for you. Thanks again That's as amazing. well for you to donating to the Avalanche Alliance and helping with Avalanche safety. Awesome. Awesome. That's amazing. So uh, congratulations on the timber sled winner. And the next item we have above the timber sled winner, I think the next thing we're giving away is the Marlon sled deck. So again, this is an amazing prize. And just to be clear, if you have a, a eight foot bed in your truck or a six and a half foot bed in the truck, that eight foot deck will work. It has adjustable sliding legs on it, everything too. So it's a pretty universal prize that anybody should be able to use as long as they have a full size truck. So all right, who's our big awesome. winner? Who's our big winner, Dustin? All right, uh, let's see. Next up, uh, let's see, prize number two. Uh, this person hails out of Truckee, California, so a third state. That's exciting to see. Yep. Uh, for the, is Kyle P. Franklin. Oh, my Kyle goodness, Franklin. that's amazing. I know Kyle. Yeah. That's actually awesome. You know Kyle? That's so awesome. I've got to tell you, there, there's a chance that Kyle P. Franklin is the most giving, most donating person in all of this. Like I think, I don't know, Vicky, we yes. won't give away any secrets, but Kyle is always one of our number one donors. So for him to actually awesome. win a prize is amazing because he has well been he has been dumping literally thousands of dollars into all of these sweepstakes and all these things that we've been doing. It's been amazing. So Well, let me tell you what's even more amazing is that Kyle won a prize in our sweepstakes last year. Oh my gosh. Well, well that dude buys so many tickets. It's not even twice. funny. <laughs> he buys a lot of tickets. Yeah, he buys a lot of tickets because he's, and he does it not yeah. to win the stuff, but literally because he is such a proponent of all the work that we're all doing. And I know Kyle, that's amazing. So congratulations. Uh, well deserved. Uh, all of everybody is well deserving, but Kyle's really invested heavily into all these things, avalanche education and really getting involved. So that's, uh, that's amazing. So that's a, uh, a Marlon sled deck, right? Is what he won. Is that what it was? That so was make sure. a Marlon sled deck. Yes. Yeah. Yep, that's awesome. Yep. That's awesome. And All right. It's and so, so fun to hear. It's so fun to hear stories of people that are donating just because they want to support the industry. Yeah. It, it's it's just out of the goodness of their heart. You know, I mean, yeah. obviously they don't want to win a prize, but to hear yeah. people just saying, Hey, I'm going to throw in because it's the right thing to do. We love it. Yeah. That's great. Thank well, and I'll, I'll just tell you too, like all of this live large merchandise, all the profits from that go to the Aries scholarship that we've been giving away. And I would tell you, Kyle P. Franklin is my number one customer on that website as well too. So he invests wherever he can to support nice. all of these things. So it's amazing. Good. Thanks, well, I appreciate that. All right. So the right. Uh, sled makeover. Number one sled makeover. Yeah. And I'm excited to find out what this person's uh, ride is to, yeah. to hear what kind of aftermarket goodies they're going to get for it. But uh, hailing from Poncha Springs, Colorado. So okay. we got another one in Colorado. We have Andrew Astor, last name A-S-T-O-R. I don't know if it's Astor or Astor. 
uh, Andrew Astor. So Andrew, again, thank you so much for donating and contributing to the Avalanche Alliance and Avalanche Safety. Congratulations on your sled package. That's cool. That's awesome. So congratulations again there. And of course, we now come to everybody. Drum roll, drum roll. Drum roll. The grand prize. We're going to go over the grand prize one more time. All right. Everything's involved in this. So What's again, all in there? Give it yeah, to us. 2022 Lynx Boondocker 3900. We got a bunch of people that kicked in with some aftermarket prizes here. First, thank you to BRP uh, and the folks over there at Lynx. Amazing help that they've given us this year. We couldn't have done it without them. So thank you so much to BRP for their help. Uh, SCS Wraps. Those guys, they did a custom wrap for us. They let us go back and forth and work on the design. Um, there's not another one out there like it. And they put a lot of time into this. It wasn't just a 20 or 30 minute wrap design. There was weeks involved in this. So thank you to them, uh, their time and, and their resources for that as well. Uh, seat Concepts, they've got a, a seat on this machine. Appreciate them. Those guys are over at a, just not too far from Fly actually in Caldwell. I got uh, to I got to tell you I got to tell you when I saw that seat concept seat on the grand prize winner at, at Hades at the thing, I called seat concepts and I says I've got to have that identical seat. So I literally ordered that identical seat that's on that sled, the little red slash on it, and it's on my sled that I rode today. It's amazing. So nice, yeah. And they even they were like, hey, we can do custom colors. You know, we'll match it to the sled. So we told them what the wrap was going to look like, and yep. they just. They went above and beyond. So again, thanks to the folks over at Seat Concepts. Amazing. Uh, next guy is Starting Line Products. Uh, I'm real close to those guys. I, I used to be part of that company and I appreciate them kicking in as well. They've got a full exhaust system on the machine, a lightweight single pipe set with a trail can. Uh, they've kicked in a set of skis as well, some Mohawk skis, which I really like the way those work as well. So thanks to the folks over at SOP and their continued support. They've also kicked in for the sled makeover. So somebody's gonna get some of their good prizes uh, for that. And then we've got the folks at Zebros. They've kicked in some uh, billet upper A arms and some uh, chromoly lower A arms and their front bumper and skid plate protection package. And they even installed some of that stuff for us when we had the sled down there. So appreciate their their uh, their labor and, and the resources that they gave to us. Uh, Ice Age, those guys kicked in a set of their rails. And what's cool about that is this is the first set of rails they've built um, for Lynx. Uh, in North America. And so they were excited to participate and be able to check this machine out and, and do some development and be involved there. So we appreciate those guys' help as well. And I want to just make sure I am not forgetting anybody. I think that covers everything on the sled. It does. Yep. So that's the grand prize, part of the grand prize. And then of course the fly gear and the Ordovox. So here we go. Grand prize out of Livingston, Montana. Ooh. Kevin... Last name, I'm going to spell it H-O-H-E. Uh, Kevin out of Livingston, Montana, congratulations. You just won the grand prize. Woo! Docker, a fly head-to-toe apparel package, and an Ordovox backcountry safety package, man. Congratulations. Thank you so much for donating to the Avalanche Alliance yeah. and Avalanche Safety. You guys, I just got to say this is like, Everybody who's watching, everybody who participated, Vicky, you said 5,000 some odd people all individually got in here and donated. Honestly, you are all winners, every single last one of you, because what you're doing is you're taking these amazing companies that are doing these amazing prizes and you're investing into yourself, into your community. And now it's Avalanche Centers this year. Last year it was Avalanche Sweepstakes, uh, you know, with scholarships. And it's a continual investment back into you, your family, your friends, everybody that rides with you, you're investing in yourself and making this community the most amazing community ever. So I'm so proud to be excited and be part of this. And uh, Dustin, Vicky, any final words before we wrap this up and start getting a hold of our prize winners? Yeah, just yeah once folks again, I um, can head over Sorry, to the sweepstakes page if okay. they want to um, see who won that grand prize. That winner's already posted on our sweepstakes page over there. So folks can check it out if they didn't hear the name of the grand prize winner announced today. Very good. Thank you so much, Vicki. Dustin, back to you. Yeah, I just want to, again, thank everyone that was involved in the Avalanche Alliance initiative this year. There's a lot of people in the background that their names haven't been mentioned or a lot of companies that sometimes that have been kicked in. Some people that just straight up donated and never even let us know that they donated. Um, one really cool thing that happened uh, was a was a, an initiative out of Montana. They handed us a five thousand dollar donation check wow. uh, while we were up there to donate to the Avalanche Alliance of some funds that they had raised 
on themselves. So there's just so many people that have been involved and we want them all, even though yeah. we may not say their name to know that we are grateful. Yeah. The entire motorized community is grateful. Thank you for all you do. And, and Hey, this might be over, but we got another one that's going to start up next fall. Right. So stay tuned because we're going to have more prizes. We're going to have hopefully more dollar value. And we'll have a cool initiative that we're going to donate. That's going to benefit us all again. So yeah, uh, it won't be long before we're doing this again. Yeah, that's amazing. All right, everybody, signing off. Have a great night and uh, catch y'all later. Don't forget to share this out if you haven't already. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye. Have a good weekend. Bye.